Have you ever wanted to record or live stream your Switch gameplay, but don't have a capture card? Or maybe you want a way to use the video capture feature in games that don't support it. Then this is the guide for you. Hello folks, Manito here, hope you're doing good. In this video I'll be showing you how to set up and use SysDVR, made by XLX11. SysDVR is a Sys module that captures Switch gameplay and outputs it to a PC via USB. Or network connection. No capture card required. If you wanted to record your gameplay or live stream it but don't have a capture card, this is a cost efficient way to do so. Here's a few things to take note of. First, can you get banned from using this? Well, so far no one has been banned by using SysDVR on its own. I have personally used SysDVR off and on for the past few years, and my Switch is still not banned yet. Remember, you're doing this at your own risk, and if you get banned, that's on you. Also, on its own, SysDVR only works with games that support the video capture feature. However, there is a workaround to this. I'll explain a bit later. Another thing about SysDVR is that it currently does not record the home menu or anything that is not a game. Next, in this tutorial, and in all of my other tutorials, unless stated otherwise, I'll be using a Windows PC for the computer sections. You can still follow along if you're using something else like Mac or Linux, but steps will be different. And with that, let's get to the tutorial. You'll need a moddable switch running Atmosphere Custom Firmware. Click the first tutorial link in the description, it will take you to my Atmosphere Custom Firmware Setup Tutorial. If you've not followed that guide yet, or don't already have your Switch set up with Atmosphere, pause this video, go watch that one, then come back here. If the video is unavailable, the link will be replaced with a text tutorial. The next thing you'll need is a program capable of opening and extracting 7-zip compressed folders. File Explorer ain't gonna cut it. 7-zip is what I use to open and extract these. It's a free program that I recommend getting if you don't already have it. I'll provide a link in the description. 7-Zip is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. On the download page, you'll see different versions, and you'll need to download the version that matches your system. If you have a 32-bit system, get the 32-bit download. If you have a 64-bit system, get the 64-bit download. If using a Windows computer, the quickest way to check which system you have is by pressing the Windows key, typing System, and pressing Enter. You should see what your computer is under System Type. The next thing, while not required, is highly recommended, and that is SysFTPD Lite. It allows you to send files to and from your Switch wirelessly. If you would prefer to stay in Atmosphere and not have to remove your SD card and inject the payload again, Whenever you want to add more homebrew or mods, then this is something you should get. I have a tutorial on setting it up, which I will link in the info card and description. And that's all you'll need before starting this tutorial. Before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos and to support the channel. I also have a community discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community, or if you need help with mod stuff. With that out of the way, let's get to the tutorial. We'll be following the GitHub guide for the setup of SysDVR, link in the description. At the time of recording this video, SysDVR is at version 5.4. This GitHub guide will be updated whenever a new version of SysDVR releases. If it's at a higher version when you are following along, follow any changes that have been made to the guide. You can read these notes here by Exelix, then scroll down and click Setup on your console. Now there's two different versions of SysDVR that you can use. There's the full version, which is just sysdvr.zip, which allows you to stream via USB or network connection and includes a homebrew app to switch between them. And there's sysdvr usb only.zip, which will allow you to stream via USB only and it uses less memory, which should help it run alongside multiple sys modules. So if you're using multiple and you experience a lot of crashes with sysdvr, use the USB only one. As it says here, you should use the full version, regardless of how you want to stream. In this video, that's what I'll be using. 
and I have used a lot of sys modules together, and I have not encountered any crashes using the full version, so you should be good. Click the releases tab link and download sysdvr client.7zip and sysdvr.zip. Now connect your SD card to your computer or connect wirelessly via FTP. Open sysdvr.zip, extract it, and move everything to the root of your SD card. We moved that over, and that's all the setup you'll need to do on your SD card. So you can go ahead and eject it, and put it back into your switch, enter RCN, and boot into Atmosphere. And if you used FTP, hold the power button, tap power options, and restart. Now go back to the setup home, and scroll down to set up sysdvr client on your PC. Open sysdvr client, which we downloaded just a second ago, and extract it. I'm gonna just make a sysdvr folder on my desktop, and yeah, that's where I'm moving everything to. Okay. I'll be following the Windows setup for this video. If you aren't using Windows, there are options for Linux and Mac OS setup. Download and install the latest.net. Make sure to get the 64-bit version as it says here. And I went with Net7 and it worked fine. So download that, install it, and you're good. This next part is not always needed as it says here, but I got it just in case I would end up needing it. So you might as well install it says it's the latest MSVC libraries from Microsoft. Download the version for your computer and install it. And now we are done with the setup for sysdvr client. I'll now go over how to stream via TCP bridge. This is how we'll stream wirelessly. Ooh. <laughs> you can do this docked or in handheld. On your switch, open the homebrew menu and go to the sysdvr settings app go to TCP bridge and press A to enable it. You can also set it as the default mode to use upon booting into Atmosphere. Now go to save and exit and press home to exit the homebrew menu. Go to system settings, scroll down to internet, and you should see your IP address on the right. On your computer, open sysdvr client GUI. You can choose to stream video, audio, or both. There are also some advanced settings, but I won't be messing with those. Under Stream Source, click TCP Bridge Network Mode. Enter your IP address. Now go ahead and open up a game that supports video capturing. And click Launch. A command prompt window and a window with your gameplay should appear. You can press F11 to full screen and press F11 again to exit full screen. When you're done using sysdvr client, you can just press escape and then close the command prompt window. Wireless streaming is convenient since you can be playing in handheld mode, then switch to the dock and it'll continue streaming and vice versa. This is also the only way to capture docked gameplay via sysdvr. You cannot use USB mode and capture docked gameplay. Only do it through wireless streaming. And the only downside to wireless streaming is that if you have a bad connection, your stream may not run too well. And this brings us to the next method of streaming, USB streaming. Close your game and go to the homebrew menu. Go to USB, press A, and press save and exit. Press home and open up a game. Plug your switch into your computer via USB cable and open sysdvr client GUI. 
select USB and press launch. It'll let you know that you haven't installed the USB driver. Press yes to install it now and it can take a few minutes to finish so just give it some time, you know, go get a cup of water or something. And now the driver is installed successfully. Unplug the USB and plug it back into the console for the changes to take effect. Now you should have your stream running once you press launch stream. There we go. Nice. As I mentioned earlier, SysDVR only works with games that support the video capture feature. However, there is a workaround to this. DVR Patches, which is also by XLX11, patches nearly every Switch game to support the video capture feature, which means you can then use it with SysDVR. And you can also just, you know, press the video capture feature when you're not using SysDVR. And you can finally clip in games like Smash Bros, you know, get some cool clips, not have to go through the whole replay and, you know, find the cool parts. So it's really useful, really useful. And it's actually really easy to install. So open up the homebrew menu and go to SysDVR settings. Go to DVR Patches Manager and search for the latest patches on GitHub. Download now. And boom, that's it. That's that's all. That's all it takes to install DVR patches. In order, in order to use it, you need to reboot the system. Let it reboot. And you're good to go. Now use the video capture feature on nearly every Switch game that did not support it. I know there's a few that don't work too well with it, but for the most part, every game does. Now you may not have noticed this, but the footage might not seem too smooth at times. That's because the game could be running at 60fps on the Switch, but SysDVR is capped at 720p 30fps. However, there is a way to enable 60fps streaming and video capturing. The caveat to this is that it can impact performance in some games. Also, 60fps streaming isn't officially supported by Exelix as it can break some OS features and cause your switch to freeze, so you'll need to hold power for 10 seconds, turn it off, and it requires overclocking your system. To overclock, you can use SysClock by the Retro NX team. In overclocking the switch, you can basically have it run at max power at all times. This can improve performance in some games and definitely helps with 60fps streaming. I'll leave a link to SysClock in the description. If you'd like to know more about overclocking and the setup of SysClock before you get it, stay tuned for a video on it. By the time you watch this, it might even be out already. Anyways, anyways. Go back to the SysDVR wiki on GitHub and scroll down. On the right, under Extra, you'll see 60fps streaming. Copy this right here, and connect your SD card to your computer, or connect via FTP. Open Atmosphere, Config, and create a new text document. Name it system underscore settings dot INI. Now that's important, make sure you do name it that or this won't work. Open it and paste will be copied from the GitHub. And if you already have one of these, add the code at the bottom of your text file. Save it and close it. Eject your SD card, put it into your switch, and boot back into Atmosphere. If you're using FTP, you could just hold the power button, power options, and restart. Now open SysDVR Client GUI and start streaming. You should now see your gameplay at 60 FPS. USB streaming is the recommended option for 60 FPS streaming. And I'll leave you guys with a little bit of gameplay showing the difference between 30 frames per second capturing and 60 frames per second capturing. And that is all for the video, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. On the left, which is my right, so it's a little confusing, you'll see a Switch tutorial playlist. So if, as you noticed, I use Smash Mods in this video, I use uh, wireless file transferring, and go ahead and see how to use that right here in this playlist, along with some other stuff. 
and uh, up here you'll see a video that YouTube recommends for you from my channel. And it might be a cringy old one, might be a cringy new one, who knows. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought about this. Um, I think it's really interesting. Because I used to use this before I got a capture card. And it helped out with getting into live streaming and all that stuff. So yeah, subscribe for more content. And shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for watching until the end. Have a good day. Good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya. Praying for ya.